Where were you? Hurry up, it's about to start. <laughs> and now, my friends, the Super Calca Color, my latest invention. Eyes front, and prepare to be amazed. This is an historic moment. Well, of course, the picture quality isn't perfect, but with a little adjustment... Blue blistering barnacles, turn the volume down! Is that better now? <laughs> you see, just a little hiccup. Tell me, Tintin, wasn't that the time you discovered the money forgers? That's right, Captain. They used a generator and floodlights to light a runway, so the plane could deliver the bags of forged banknotes. I see. And to retrieve the bags, you just turn the floodlights off and the plane disappears into the night.
Proof enough that I am indeed dealing with forgers. Oh, <laughs> oh,
If I remember rightly, you were a real old sea dog. Yes. The locals were too scared to take me to the Black Island, so I bought myself a boat to get there. Aye, aye, Skipper. <laughs> she can't have been easy to steer, particularly as those fools are lily-livered landlubbers. tells me the money forgers are behind the mystery of the Black Island. So, Tintin, have you solved the mystery of the Black Island? Yes, but I couldn't have done it without help. Daw, there must have been a radio transmitter in that castle, don't you think?
Hello, police. Tintin here. I'm a reporter. I've captured a gang of money forgers on the Black Island just off Kiltock. Could you send help?
What's this? Calculus's submarine? Yes. Thanks to Professor Calculus's submarine, we found the wreck of the unicorn. My ancestor, Sir Francis Haddock's ship. It brings tears to my eyes. Corn. Hooray! We found it! Wasn't Red Rackham's treasure supposed to have been hidden on that island? Yes, it should be buried at the foot of the Eagle Cross. Uh, should be.
Cross. Red Rackham's treasure is ours.
Look, isn't that those two Thompson fools in the jeep over there? So it is. I can't believe they found their way across the desert and made it to the palace of Emir Mohammed ben Khalisha Zab. <laughs> the father of that little rascal Abdullah. Here we are at last. To be more precise, we're here. Wasn't that the time Dr. Muller kidnapped that little scoundrel Abdallah? Yes, he wanted to blackmail his father, and I had to make my way through the palace without getting caught to find the bunker where he was being kept prisoner. Mm, aye. But did you really have to free Abdullah? But, Captain, he's only a child. Yes, I know. If only the little rascal had stopped letting those firecrackers off all over the place.
Abdullah, we're going. I'm taking you back to your father. No! I'm not going back to my father's! I'm having so much fun here! Let go of me! I'm staying here!
I thought an old sea dog like me would walk on the moon, thanks to good old Tocculus's rocket. Yes, and we didn't just walk on the moon, we drove around it in Calculus's tank too. Don't remind me, I've never been so seasick.
But we did lose Snowy on the moon at one point. That's true. He's fast asleep now. Would you believe the little rascal disappeared down a cave? <laughs> As if being thousands of miles away from the Earth wasn't complicated enough.
Snowy, here you are. You haven't broken any bones. What is it? Why don't you answer me? Oh, I see. Your radio isn't working. Isn't that the plane of the millionaire, Caridas? Don't you remember? 
Rastopopoulos wanted to blackmail Caritas, so he hijacked his plane and flew to a desert island. The only problem was how to make a safe landing. It just goes to show even swindlers have a god watching over them. Landed safely. Escaping from the clutches of Rastapopoulos was no mean feat. <laughs> and to cap it all, there were rumblings from the volcano. Don't remind me. We had to find the entrance to the underground passages and get out again. Mm. It makes me thirsty just thinking about it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Safe and sound.
So, Snowy, did you enjoy the show? But what's that bone you've got there? Where did you find it? <laughs>